Welcome back, my name is Last No Meal. Happy New Year, everyone. Today we're going to talk about The Witcher and the future of The Witcher games in general. First of all, CD Projekt Red had an amazing start in 2020 because The Witcher 3 was played more than 100,000 players yesterday on Steam alone. You can imagine how many are there on GOG and consoles as well. This just shows how much the popularity in the franchise can rise, especially because of Netflix The Witcher. You watch the show and you think to yourself, well, what do I do until 2021? I might play an amazing trilogy. That's why this game is now even more popular on Steam than on launch. And all with a good reason, The Witcher 3 is one of the best games created in the last decade. All the way from the story, characters, gameplay mechanics and level design, this gem from 2015 is bringing a lot of new games to shame, because it shows you how much people enjoy single-player games filled with content. And if you can also get a full edition with expansions on a discount, you just had one of the best deals of your life, to be honest. And this might serve as a giant slap to the entire industry, to the entire gaming industry, because it shows that a game can become even more popular after some time if the things around it are working well. And they can only work well if the original product is good. Because that's just how it goes. You first have the books, then you had the games, which brought The Witcher to the entire world, and then you have the Netflix show, which, you know, brings it to millions and millions of their users. Of course, some people are going to go and play the games. And not just that, when you have a quality single-player game in general, it also raises the popularity of CD Projekt, and everything they do in the future is going to be watched by a lot of people, especially now that they are going to release uh, Cyberpunk 2077 in about four months, Jesus Christ, so near, um, and then everything else they do from now on, especially regarding The Witcher, oh, it's gonna be popular as hell. Because even though The Witcher as a brand was extremely popular among the gaming and, you know, book community, imagine how big of a reach you have through a platform with millions and millions of users like Netflix. And now that the show became a worldwide phenomenon, you know, being number two most watched in 2019 on Netflix, even though it was only available for a short amount of time, it's just below Stranger Things 3 which already has a well-established viewing audience. Also, The Witcher 1 Enhanced Edition passed its record during the past couple of days, going up to more than 12.5 thousand active players on Steam. I was surprised that The Witcher 2 still didn't pass the record. I really wonder why, it's a great game, but, you know, being set in the middle, I don't know, it's like, do you go with The Witcher 1, do you go with The Witcher 3? I also think The Witcher 2 was an amazing game. Even some things uh, like combat, I actually liked the combat more in The Witcher 2 than I liked in The Witcher 3, but, you know, it's open to discussion. But I think The Witcher 1 has also that Striga fight and is kinda tied with all the similar characters you have in the show, especially the first game. So, uh, in, in a sense, I do understand why, why it's breaking new records. Again, this is what happens when you have a successful transition from one media to another. And I've had multiple people telling me that they never played the games, that they have no idea about The Witcher, so after they watched the show, they decided to go to the games, and they were really, really surprised that they haven't played it before. I was like, well, now you can. And I honestly envy all the people that are going to start playing The Witcher 3 for the first time right now, because I wish I could forget everything and start from the beginning again. That was one of the most magical feelings I've ever had. I mean, if you compare it to any other show, it would be the same thing, for example, with Game of Thrones, actually, but Game of Thrones never really had a good video game, except that Telltale one, which I enjoyed, but besides that, everything else wasn't special. So this entire situation can serve as a very good lesson for the future, Especially now that Cyberpunk 2077 is coming out, we discussed the possibility of a series or a film based on Cyberpunk 2020 or 2077. If that happens, and it's good, the brand can take off straight into the future. And I can confirm right now that a lot of people who are 
you know, very influential in this, who are planning these projects, who are watching the, the trends currently happening in the world, are looking at Netflix The Witcher, seeing the popularity of that show, then translating to the popularity of not just video games, also the books. I think Zabkovsky became the number one author on Amazon, so that's also a huge plus for the brand and also for Sapkowski, I mean, that man is probably rolling in the money now, especially after that deal with CD Projekt, after that deal with the Netflix, and now the books are going as crazy, so... Whew. Also, the Witcher series will have about seven seasons, so the production can stretch, I believe, for a minimum ten years, which can expand the audience even more than now. Series become popular as they go on, well, most of them. The more seasons are out, usually the popularity of the show is bigger and bigger. And I'm going to show you the top 10 games on Steam right now. Do you notice something? The Witcher 3 is the only game here without a multiplayer. And EA sees this and they're probably like, wait, this is illegal. So what does this mean for the future? Well, first of all, now that CD Projekt secured the rights for The Witcher, they're able to make anything they want, and they can also relax a bit because the Witcher brand, you know, for the video games, the merchandising, it's in their hands, so they don't have to do anything on it right now. But will they? Of course they will. The Witcher is something that created their company, that's something that put them on the map, and of course they will never abandon this universe. I mean, let's look at their schedule. Currently, we have no clue if the game has been laid out, and by that I mean if anything was discussed or written about it, like some story outlines or some ideas. Um, we know it's not in development, because they had this feud with Sapkowski, and no one goes into production when you have a lawsuit about that product. And at the same time, we know that CD Projekt likes to reinvent themselves, so... It's gonna take a while until we see a new Witcher game. At least five to six years minimum, if they don't uh, do something else. We still don't know which uh, that new RPG game is coming out in 2021. I can confirm it's not going to be The Witcher, because, as I said, no one is going to go into development unless they have the right secured. And we know how long it takes them to create a game, so there is, there is no actual point in releasing the game now in 2021 because the entire studio is working on cyberpunk and when they do expand which they are doing every single year it means they will be able to release more games they will have let's say a two game schedule every two to three years so that's going to be good for us and that's going to be good for their company especially the revenue and sales and still, after Cyberpunk 2077 comes out, you have the expansions, you have the multiplayer. And maybe after, you know, 2077 comes out, they might make a small team just to work on the outlines of the story. But regardless, we know that Geralt is done. They said we told the story to the end, now it's time for a different one. And I definitely agree with that. But the universe is vast, you can make a lot of new Witcher stories, and since they know how to write, I think it's in good hands. So anyway, a great start for The Witcher and CD Projekt. Uh, keep a lookout because I have some really interesting Witcher videos coming up in the next couple of days. So subscribe to stay tuned. And also visit us on Twitter and Discord if you want to continue the discussion there. The community is growing each and every day and thank you so much for your support and your trust. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone. Bye-bye.